Hello and welcome to Solux Power. I'm Jay and behind me you will see a inverter and a battery. This is the X3 Hybrid G4 and we have put together a little scenario of a meter fault. And you can see on the meter, we are in meter fault. And it's a very common problem and I'm going to talk you through on how to rectify this. And here's the Solux Cloud. You can see at the top it is meter fault and there's no direction of arrow, arrows. All you can see is just no data. And then going back to the meter, I can show you how to fix this. So first thing we're going to check is the meter CT port. And make sure the RJ45 is facing towards you here. From 1 to 8 you can see the port, we are using port 4 and port 5. So white is in port 4, blue is in port 5. So we're going to put that back in. And if you come over here to the meter, you will see port 24 and port 25. So port 4 in the RJ45 goes to port 24 and port 5 in the RJ45 goes to port 25. So the best way to help you understand it a bit easier is port 4 to port 24, port 5 to port 25. And as you can see, that is correct. Now that we've recognised the cables in there, we're now going to come to the actual meter itself in the settings. And to get into the actual menu itself, you need to press set and it'll come up code press set and this is the password to get into the actual menu and the number is 701 and you press set set again set again set again and then you'll come to ct and when you go into your ct you'll see that that's at 200 and for us to change that or know what one to use you need to look down at your ct clamps now your ct clamps will have 200 amps slash 5 amps. So what you need to do is 200 divided by 5 will give you 40. And because that's 40, we need to change this to 40. We will get there eventually. And change it to 10. This will come normally as 40 or 80. And now that's set at 40, we'll press escape. Just go and double check, press escape, go to the next one, go to the next one. And then you come onto the address. So the address is really important. So if we go into the address, we can see it's at 1. And the reason why it's at 1 is because we have one inverter here. But you need to make sure that the inverter's address is at 1 and the meter's address is at 1. Okay? So the, in the inverter is the master and the meter is the slave. Always remember that. So we're going into the settings. Press enter, put your password in. The password is 2014. Press enter, go down to advanced settings, press enter, go down, go down, go down, go down, and you'll see meter CT settings. Press enter, press across, press across. Meter one address is at one. So that's all okay and I'm happy with that. So press back. And I'm gonna come back to the meter. I'm gonna to have to put this password in again. So just bear with me. And we need to get into the bot rate and we press set. And we need to check if it's at 9.600 and that is the correct one but sometimes you will see the odd numbers. I'll just show you for an example. But the actual one we need is at 9.600. 
press set, escape, sorry. And then keep going and you will come to the protocol switching. And I will get that up now. This one, and then you press set. And it's at E.1, and that's incorrect. incorrect. It should come out of the factory at N.1, and that is the correct one. So you press set, escape, and that is all the settings, and that should take the meter out of full mode. Okay, now that we have the inverter in normal mode, yeah, you can see that the power is 951 watts. We do have some extra checks to check, just to double check that it's working correctly. You need to come down to the meter, CT meters, and you need to double check that the arrows are facing the correct way. And the arrows are facing towards the load. And please make sure L1 is on L1, L2 is on L2, and L3 is on L3. Again, going back to the inverter, 933 watts thereabouts. And if you come over to the Solex Cloud, this is the app you will see. You will see that the load is 940 watts. So that is very similar to what the inverter is giving out. And then the battery is at 934 watts. And you can see that the battery is taking load, taking power to the load, sorry. You will see that the wattage will be about one to 100 watts out of range. That is because the CT, CT clamps have a bit of a fluctuation, so it's nothing to worry about, but if it's higher, around one to 100 watts, then you please look further into it because there is a problem somewhere with the CT clamps. I hope the video has helped you. Thank you very much for your time, and hopefully see you again soon.